giving them food, aside from the fact that we're not supplementing with them, both of them have in common malabsorption. So if you got those little white spots on your fingers, in addition to getting yourself on 50 milligrams of zinc, making sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is loaded, loaded with the B complex, you also want to make sure that you're absorbing your nutrients by making sure you're doing all your digestive things, digestive, uh, digestive support, especially apple cider vinegar. Another thing you can do, another, uh, another way you can tell if you have a, a zinc deficiency is do a zinc taste test. Get yourself uh, some zinc solution, uh, a special taste test solution. It's called zinc sulfate heptahydrate. You can buy it on the internet. And then you do a little taste of it. Don't eat or drink anything for a couple hours before you, before you put it in your mouth. You put some of this solution in your mouth. You swish it around for a few seconds. Spit it out. You can swallow it if you want because you get some zinc that way. And then you see what it tastes like. It should taste really yucky. It should have a very, very stringent, unpleasant taste. If it does, you're okay. If it has just a strong taste, but not, not totally gross, you're probably okay too. However, if you don't taste it, you're probably not okay. If it tastes a little sweet maybe, dry taste, if it, if it doesn't have any taste at all or tastes like water, chances are you are deficient in zinc. If you suspect zinc deficiency, get some of this solution. Or you know what? Just take 50 milligrams of zinc. It's so easy to take. 50 milligrams of zinc a day will cost you a penny. Less than, I don't know, it's three bucks or four bucks for 90 pills or 100 pills. That's 100 daily doses for three or four bucks. Are you kidding me? That's three cents. Three cents to make sure you get enough zinc. Jeez, it's crazy not to. Now, if you want it, if you don't like supplements, and, and some people don't, I don't, I'm not crazy about the idea of supplementing either, although, as I said, you gotta supplement because the stuff's not in the soil, but if you insist on not supplementing, or if you just wanna bump up your zinc levels and you are supplementing, you can use foods. And there are some good foods that theoretically, I say theoretically, because you never really know what's in your fruits and vegetables and, and meats and dairy and eggs. That's why supplementing is so important. But if you want to get zinc from foods, your high-protein foods are going to be your best sources. Liver is an especially good source. Organ meats in general are good sources. Seafood's a good source. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, uh, you'll get some in grains. Uh, eggs, by the way, are a great source of, uh, of zinc and all building nutrients. But if you're vegan or vegetarian, you're going to be stuck with grains, which have uh, probably your best vegan vegetarian source of zinc. You've got to eat lots of grains. Wheat bran is especially high. Uh, wheat germ also is high. Um, if you're going to do a veggies, go uh, peas, carrots, beets. Probably cabbage will get you some. For fruits, uh, nuts, by the way, are also a good source. Uh, Almonds, peanuts. Peanuts are a good source of zinc. If you're going to go fruits, think dates and, and figs. Of course, then you're going to be dealing with lots of sugar. And there's an, also an important relationship between fructose and zinc. Fructose malabsorption and zinc deficiency also go hand in hand. There's so much stuff here for this incredibly important mineral. There's so much stuff to understand. Soil depletion is probably the biggest, it's probably the biggest reason why zinc deficiency is so common. In fact, soil depletion is, I would have to say, with, uh, with the ex Americans relying on processed, manufactured synthetic foods, that's certainly a problem. But soil depletion may be the most important factor associated with our pathetic health status, the pathetic health status of large numbers of Americans and humanity in general. Yes, processed food is a big problem. But even fresh whole food, because of soil depletion, we're, we're, in, we're in a world of hurt, you guys. That's why it's so important to get on a nutritional supplement program. That's why the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack are not optional if you want to be maximal. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 855-660-4261 is our number. We're going to finish up uh, talking about zinc on our next bright side episode and tell you about zinc and prostaglandins. There's a very important relationship between zinc and prostaglandins. We'll talk a little bit about vitamin C and prostaglandins. Vitamin C and uh, essential fatty acids work together to help the body make prostaglandins. We'll talk about that on our next episode. If you've, a uh, bright side episode, if you've used uh, my omega-6 healing cream, that's one of the strategies that I employed when I formulated the omega-6 healing cream. I put vitamin C and omega-6s together to help the body make anti-inflammatory prostaglandins, and that's one of the little tricks, one of the little formulating secrets that I like to use uh, when I'm 
formulating healing products is to blend nutrients together to have an effect, a topical effect on the skin. Prostaglandins are very, very, very important when it comes to skin health and especially relevant when it comes to skin inflammation. We'll talk about all that on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's go to New York and talk to Leslie. What's up, Les? Lee? Hi. I'm calling because I spoke to you two weeks ago about my husband who has a uh, golf okay. Well, he is currently in the hospital now because he ended up with um, pancreatitis and an infection because the stone went into the liver and it was okay. blocking both well, up. He's so. a mess. He's a mess. So he's got, a work, he's got some work to do now. If he's got an emergency condition like this, this is where mm -hmm. heroic medicine really, really plays an important role. Uh, you know, well, I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm no fan of the medical model, as you know, if you've listened to this mm -hmm. program. But there's two kinds of medicine. There's heroic medicine, and then there's ambulatory medicine. Heroic medicine is what your your uh, your husband is luckily getting to uh, enjoy or getting the benefits of, not enjoy, but get the mm -hmm. benefits of uh, here. And this is a, this is where we really want to not throw out the baby with the bathwater in terms of ripping into the medical model. However, he wouldn't be in this mess if he was taking care of himself in the first place. And I don't mean to rip on your husband at all you know obviously he's he's you know now's not the time now now he needs some tlc however it's important for everybody else listening to to know that you don't want to get in this position gallstones are a digestive condition and none of the doctor's business unless you're running into infections or like your husband is uh, so i could tell you what to do in, in the long run in the short run he's going to need the it's very likely that he's going to need some some medical intervention uh, but in the in the long run it is absolutely vital that he starts to pay attention to the foods he eats and using digestive support. Uh, and I, I probably told you all this before, but number one for gallstones, for chronic gallstones, you've got to connect them to food allergies and food intolerances, problems processing and digesting foods, especially fatty foods. Using uh, nutrients and, su and supplements that help him digest fatty foods can help too. Um, vitamin, I'm sorry, uh, 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 lecithin, obviously that's the most important nutrient for helping the body process fat, or supplement I should say, and that's not a nutrient, but supplement to help the body process fats, um, bile salts, you can get those in the ultimate enzymes, you should be using them after all meals, apple cider vinegar also can help, you can get straight bile salts at a health food store, you always want to start off your meals by the way with something bitter, parsley is great, uh, anything bitter will stimulate bile, you can use something called Swedish bitters, start your meals off with Swedish bitters, start your meals off with dandelion greens or some kind of bitter greens, all of those will stimulate bile, make it easier for you to digest your food. Uh, taurine, T-A-U-R-I-N-E, is an amino acid that's important for the manufacturing of bile. Same with an amino acid called glycine. You can also use a supplement called choline. Uh, now, if he's, did you say he had pancreatitis too? Yeah, and they're really um, pushing for him to have the gallbladder removed before Well, he you is. know, they're pushing, but he's the guy who has to live with it. You know, I love that. They're pushing right. to have his gallbladder removed, right? Your husband is going to be living with them pushing, with, the, with, uh, with their, their, what they're pushing, the surgical procedure that they're encouraging him to have. Your husband is the guy living with this for the rest of his right, life. The, the doctors the will be fine. Is, What's because that? He has sickle, the fear is because he has sickle cell, they're saying that that is what's causing him to make these gallstones. No, stones no and, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. That's silly. Sickle cell is definitely a, co a contributing factor to his, Ill, to his ill health, to his poor health, but it's not the gall. You know, it's, the gallstones are digestive, not the sickle cell. Mm -hmm. Now, sickle cell, you didn't tell me he had sickle cell, but that's a, something else that needs to be addressed. Zinc is one of the best ways, by the way, to deal with sickle cell anemia. Uh, 50 mil if he's not taking 50 milligrams a day of zinc, he better be. He should be. Um, okay. Also, the entire B complex, is he on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have him take sip on it all day long. The B complex is very important for sickle cell as well. Treat sickle cell anemia, which by the way is called thalassemia when it occur occurs in white people, and sickle cell anemia when it occurs in black people. Same idea. You're not making healthy blood cells. Don't pay any attention mm -hmm. to that nonsense about genetics either. By the way, sickle cell mm -hmm. anemia is a blood issue where the body's not making cells correctly, specifically red blood cells, and they form a sickle sickle shape. Treat it as a sign of bodily dysfunction, not a genetic curse. There are perhaps predispositions to it, but if it was a genetic disease, you wouldn't have it in white people and black people uh, and have, have the same kind of illness in, in two different races. 
the same exact problem. It's, it's a problem making cells is what the, the issue is with sickle cell anemia. Uh, and making uh, red blood cells is, what you wanna, is how you want to focus on dealing with it. Now that is a contributing factor in breaking the body down. It may, not be a, it may not be a cause of gallstones, but it is a contributing factor in overall breakdown of the body. Red blood cells are important for oxygen. No oxygen, the body breaks down and gallstones ultimately can be the result. So you gotta focus on building blood and staying away from problem foods. It's not that complicated for anybody to deal with these things. Stay away from problem food, focus on the digestive system, make sure you're using your Mighty 90 essential nutrients. Now, if he wants to do other things, taking care of his blood, blood sugar is also probably important. And then um, using oxygen techniques, deep breathing always goes a long way to, for any health issue. But specifically, work on the digestive system, work on uh, helping him, him make blood cells with, the zin with zinc and the B complex. Uh, protein is also important. Vitamin C is also important. All of these nutrients are going to are going to play an important role in keeping them healthy. Thanks for your call, Leslie. Anything else going on? Um, just that. How can I dissolve the stones? You, you're not going to dissolve if it's past. You you got to deal with the doctors at this point. In my opinion, uh, at this point, mm -hmm. what you want to do is prevent further stones by staying off of problem foods, uh -huh. focusing on the digestive system, processing fats especially, ultimate enzymes, apple cider vinegar, lecithin, choline, taurine, all the things we just talked about. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. And Thank don't forget you. the apple cider vinegar is especially important. Thanks for your call, okay. Leslie. Hope you I uh, hope he helped you out. Um, you know, that's the thing, you guys. Once it gets tumbles out of control and you have to interact with the medical model, you got to interact with the medical model. That's the price you got to pay. But uh, that doesn't mean that you don't want to start using supplements and start taking care of your digestive issues for future problems. For, for the future problems. Okay, if you have a problem now, you need medical intervention, go do what you need to do. Don't let them yank out an organ, though, unless you have cancer. All right, Justina in Georgia, what's up? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, how's it going? What's going on? How can we help you? It's going well. Thank you for letting me, you know, be on a call. I appreciate that. Sure, sure. What's up? Okay, I am from Brazil, and uh, I do use also the longevity supplement. Are you calling from Brazil? You're not calling from uh, Brazil. No, no, I'm not. the call is not from Brazil. It's from Atlanta, but longevity is going to Brazil for my mother. Very nice. Yes, my mother's 96 years old, but she doesn't have no issue. And nice. So I just keep her and I, uh, I give it to her longevity. Well, last last two weeks she went to for her, you know, doctor, you know, physical, you know, to see if everything is okay. Yes. So when she went to a doctor, later doctor, for to see if her doc, uh, her he heart. He told her to stop taking all her supplements, probably right. She did. She said. I knew it. Okay. You know what a cagada is? You ever hear this? Cagada? That's a bonehead in Portuguese. Dr. Bonehead. Hang on, uh, Justina. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. Hey, if you're on speaker, Justina, come off the speakerphone because it's hard to hear you. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on The Bright Side talking to Justina in Atlanta. Hello, Justina. So you're, uh, yes. you know what a cagada is? You ever hear that term? Uh, what is it? Cagada. It's a Portuguese word. It means bonehead. Dr. Cagada. Telling your uh. mother, telling your, telling your mother not to use supplements. She's 96. Is she sick? Is there anything wrong with her? No, nothing no. wrong. And she said that if she continues taking longevity, the estrogen and mineral, She's going to have a stroke. That's okay, good. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know, I hear stupid things all the time from physicians, and I don't know how to answer them. They're just dumb. So, yeah. uh, uh, you know, what can I say? If she's going to, chances are, though, she's 96. She's, she's under the spell of the medical model. That's how older folks are usually, unfortunately, because, you know, they were raised in the 40s and 50s when, when medicine was in its, when modern medicine was in its heyday. Um, I don't know what to tell you. She's got to do what she, she's got to take, take the ball into her own court and do what she, I would personally not be paying attention to my doctor, but, you know, what can you do? I told, I told my sister, I said, don't stop giving to her the minerals and the, don't stop, don't listen. Take her to a nutritionist and then listen to the opinion yes, of a, yes. a heart doctor. That's great I advice. nothing about that. That's great advice, but you can only do what we can do. How else can I help you, ma'am? I want to get to some more, more calls, Justine. Anything else going on? 
And no, no, thank you so much. That was, God bless that you. Was, that was right. Thank okay. you, and God, God bless, bless you as well. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for your call. Isaac in New York, what's up, bro? Welcome to the Bright Side. I think I talked to you a couple days ago, Isaac. Yeah, Laughter. You talked, to me, you talked to me yesterday, but um, I wanted to get a question before I accidentally, I accidentally hung up. My ears, my ear pressed the hung up okay. button by mistake. Sorry okay. about that. Okay. Well, no worries. What's going on? Yeah, yesterday I, I told you I had liquid bowel movements for years, and you told me food in response it may be malabsorption, uh, malabsorption yes. linked to food. Yes, it's um, either 